All right, here goes part, uh, well, part six, and also the final part of this Mega Man playthrough, because uh, this final stage is actually going to take probably the equivalent to another part, like 15 to 20 minutes, I'd say, along with the credits, of course. But um, so basically, I have to fight all the bosses over again, and then fight um, fight Sigma, who has three forms. And there's an anime clip we get to watch, and an en ending anime clip and ending credits. So it's quite a bit. But uh, I'll start with Cyber Peacock because I know I can beat him without taking any damage. I'll just use the firepower and just straight up, you know, just whoop. <laughs> so much for not taking any damage. I'll just cheap them out. But after every fight, they give me an energy tank, which is pretty nice. And uh, any energy that I don't use gets added to my my supplementary energy tank um, that's in my items list. So it might be useful for the final boss, because I know on keyboard, I'm not going to be able to move and dodge the way I'm used to. But this fight is pretty straightforward, just keep moving. You can even just keep walking left and right and then use your firepower as soon as he appears. But um, I got hit because I, I misspaced it, I just used the firepower too far away from him. Beam me up. Now I can just get another energy tank and refill my abilities. Um, so if that's Cyber Peacock, that means this is going to be Storm Owl, I believe. If I'm not mistaken, this is Storm Owl. I'll just get him out of the way because... Oh no, this is Jet Stingray. Well... Alright, I'll just... The same thing, I'll just keep using ice on him. So the, the fights aren't really hard, they're just time consuming. And before he gets to do anything, I'll just freeze him. Now that I have to double jump, I can just... I can even go higher and try and freeze, <laughs> freeze him before he comes out. He's probably so pissed, he's like, let me move! Whoops. Uh oh. Okay, there we go. Don't want none of these buggers on me. And uh, you can cancel this too, the electric, by dashing. Whoops. Oh no, what am I doing? Oh yeah, he has a move that sucks you up. No homo. <laughs> it, it, it pulls you in and he just like sucks you up and... He, uh oh. Yeah, he, sometimes he does that too. He just go will go straight up, straight down, straight up, and it's really fast. So you just have to kind of like keep moving. That's why he's so annoying, because he has many different attacks that, that are just difficult to avoid and that you can't really react to. But I made quick work of him. Uh, I'm guessing this is Magma Dragoon, but I could be wrong. I'll come down here. I, my guess is that this is Spirit Mushroom or Frost Walrus. Yeah, Spirit Mushroom, okay. I know they're laid out in a certain way that makes sense, but I don't remember. Like, it makes sense to where they are on the character, well, stage select screen. Alright, this will be quick and easy. And now I can hit him up there since I have his own ability. This is the real one, I'll start attacking it. Whoops. Man, I get hit like once every fight. Oh, he's gonna go back, do this thing. Alright, come at me, bro. Gonna hit him while he's up there. Does his little powder. Basically, he's making you hallucinate, because he's a mushroom. And see an after image, he just like pours powder on you. 
I mean, it makes sense. Mushrooms make you hallucinate. They're poisonous. Well, some are poisonous. It's a fungus. Um, alright, get that, get that. Where is Storm Owl? I want to fight him so that I can get my Giga attack back. Because if I do him last... Oh, here he is. Alright. I gotta make sure I, I get my hand in position to press number two. The way I lay out my keys is uh, Z, X, A, S is like um, X, square, circle, triangle on the PlayStation remote. Is he coming? Is he coming? Is he coming? There we go. And the more uh, energy particles that hit him, oh man, de it deals more damage. Oh crap. So much damage. Screw you. It deals more damage. So if only one little, I guess, spoke you could say from the Giga attack hits him, it'll, it'll do like barely any damage. But if like a lot of the energy beams hit him, it'll do way more. Which I found interesting that, that they added that in, because this game isn't really like that. Usually when one thing hits the enemy, they get like invincibility frames from it. And then that's it, then you have to wait to attack again. But I guess they did it on purpose, because Storm Owl is really annoying. Oh, Frost Walrus, alright. So I shouldn't be taking any- Oh no, not Frost Walrus. Fuck. Well, see, since he has me cornered, I can't avoid that. Wow, and I totally dashed. Oh, can't avoid that. Oh my god. Oh, I can destroy them. Why is he fighting me so annoyingly? He's attacking me totally different from what I'm used to. Well, that makes this fight a billion times easier. Is he gonna counter? Is he gonna counter? I'm always scared to hit him. Imagine that, living in fear your whole life. Wow, that was fast. Oh, that was his counter. He just immediately did it from the wall. Great. Now I'm gonna have to replenish my health and not take any damage against the next bosses. With the keyboard. Alright, so he messed me up good. Let's see if I can manage to recover from this. Uh, let me see if I have any... Oh, half an energy tank. That's not gonna be good enough. I'm gonna have to be at full health and have ha perhaps half an energy tank for the last boss. Otherwise, I'll, I probably will die. Cause, I mean, if I had my controller, like I said, I'd be doing way better, but uh, we'll see what happens. Spider! Spidey! I've seen people hit him, like, off screen, like, way above the screen, and I don't know how they do it. Like, all the way up there. Oh, look, I hit him, but no damage. Oh, because he's invincible from, from doing this. Now I can hit him. Once he starts moving, he's hittable. Whoop. Alright, I can't let him touch me again. Oh my god! Great! What? Oh no! I, I, I thought I killed him. And then he just shot like freaking spider web at me. Great. Now, now I really don't know how I'm going to beat the, the final boss with this little health? What am I supposed to do? Well, which boss is this? Um, I know I have Magma Dragoon left and... Frost Walrus, right? Alright, so I'll get some health back from Frost Walrus because I don't think he's gonna touch me. And then I will fight Magma Dragoon, which he might touch me once or twice. And then, uh, 
and then get another health up and then be on my merry way. Well, actually, I think they give you a health up before the final boss, which is nice. Nice, very nice of them. Alright, get out of here. Burn you. Do this again, you're gonna... Oh, yeah, since he's at half health, he's not even gonna gonna slide at me anymore. He's just gonna start doing this thing. Whoop. Oh, good, I avoided it. And he's gone. There we go. Took no damage. He's even one of the easiest bosses without power-up, so imagine. Alright. Get that. Things are looking up. Let's go fight Magma Dragoon, who is basically a Street Fighter character. He just does like Hadoukens and Shoryukens and dive kicks. He's a fighting game character. He has a spirit bomb. He has a whole bunch of moves. Dive kick. Yep, that's the first Hadouken. Hadouken. Shoryuken. Yep. Oh my god. I just touched him. Oh my god. It's, it's lagging. See, I can't deal with this. Shoryuken? Yes. I know his attack pattern, so I shouldn't be getting hit by him. Whoop. Oh my god, he cornered me, and I didn't jump over him like a fool. That was my fault. I got caught up with like trying to deal a lot of damage to him. So now... But yeah, if I remember correctly, I do get a little health drop from Sigma right before the fight so we'll get that and go to the main area and I think this video is probably gonna be like 25 or 30 minutes including the ending credits and this anime clip let's see what happens I might cut it uh hee 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 good work zero you're Sigma so it was you hee 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 yes simply brilliant you even defeated Colonel and Iris. You made me do it! No, you wanted to destroy them. Allow me to remind you that I was once the leader of the Maverick Hunters. Yeah, so Sigma was a good guy, actually. What's our current but... situation? Come well, you'll see in this Where's cool that anime clip. Maverick that wiped out Gamma's unit? In, inside. He's inside that door. You may leave now. I'll take care of this personally. By yourself, Commander? I don't want any more of my people being sacrificed. I used to think this was so cool. How does he use a pipe against a laser sword, or like a beam sword?
Guess he's just that badass, huh? Look, it's Commander Sigma. Incredible. Now I'm certain there's no one who's a match for the commander. What? Take that red maverick to the repair center and, and call Dr. Kane. I wish to have that maverick studied. <sighs> commander, are you okay? Silence! He mad. Yeah, so basically, uh, Sigma used to be a good guy before he became evil in Mega Man X. Zero, you were a maverick? Why is he asking? What's your point? Are you surprised? Are you that surprised? Ah, Zero, you're most impressive. Sigma, I will defeat you. So yeah, basically Dr. Wily made Zero. If I'm not, I might, don't quote me on this, but I think Dr. Wily made Zero, which is why he was evil back then. And then once he gets like studied and they break the that W thing on him, he turn like he's good. He becomes a good guy. He starts working for the Maverick Hunters, and he meets X in in Re Mega Man X, and they become friends. And yeah, um, so I'm gonna end this segment because it's a little long. And the next segment you'll see is me fighting the final boss and the ending credits. So I hope you've enjoyed it so far. Thanks for watching.